an exhibition by Portia Zvahahevam. She's a Zimbabwean artist. Mm -hmm. um, she was born in 1985 and she lives in Zimbabwe, in mm -hmm. Harare. Um, so this painting, there is um, there is this form which um, you can decipher. There's a, a beast and it's a scary uh, it's a scary presence and in the middle of it what I what I really love as well is there is this kind of enveloping nest so it's it's white and there is a sense of embroidery and comfort maybe like a blanket that somebody is putting over this beast um, and then we also see a constellation so there is definitely to me uh, the sense that this is this is part of the realm of dreams and the night uh, but it's also Part of the universe so we're all in this uh, bubble and uh, there's a sense of it's a, a cell it's definitely a living organism i think a lot of the paintings are um, quite magic and so um, this painting definitely has a sense of mysticism magic um, and the struggle between good and evil Portia is very talented colorist so there's a beautiful blend between um, you know, like the the purple has all this depth to it, and um, and you just want to, you know, you just want to spend time looking at it. There's also a lot of layers. Um, so, in the center, you can see where she's revealing with the transparencies. Um, she's playing with um, the greens and the the whites and the ochres, and there's lots of raw um, spaces in the canvas. So, for instance. Uh, I think I like as well like their um, their drippings. It's um, it's not. There's a sense of. I think it's very expansive. Like it really goes um, it goes be above and beyond the canvas. But at the same time, it's floating. It's very organic, and there's parts that are unpainted. So I think they're very free with the way that um, she's painting, and I think she doesn't care so much about conventions. I think that the orange in the show um, struck me as like not only just the color of the coral reef, but also like a s sense of like Africanism and um, and the warmth of the earth. Uh, so I wanted to to pay my own little uh, modest tribute to that. We just want to have the warmth inside of us, and uh, and art definitely provides that space. Um, this is um, Portia Svahaheva's first exhibition in Europe. Um, and I first uh, came across her work like a few months ago. Uh, right after lockdown, I went to Modern Art Wing and I immediately you know, asked, so who is this artist? And they said, Portia Svahaheva. Then I went home, Googled everything I could on the artist. Turns out she is a bit of a star already. I certainly did not discover her. Uh, she's had a number of shows in uh, on the continent, uh, in Africa, and some group shows in London. This is her first solo show at David's Werner. So it's a big leap as well, I think, for the artist. The exhibition is titled, um, I took my rest from sleep and I awoke because he sustained me. Um, it's a passage from the Bible. And the he is like, it's a capital he, and obviously like spirituality is very important to her. Um, and all the paintings are called um, uh, This is where I traveled one two three four five. I like that consistency because it feels like you know the whole life is a journey and our dreams are really like the substance of, of, uh, of these works. They are, uh, they are, I think they transcend a, spa a space of like renewed inspiration, re renewed energy, and hope really, hope that we can all find our inspiration in our happy place, even in these times of turmoil. The shapes are very organic, like cells, um, and inside of them, it's just like a world, everything happens. And then, um, and then uh, as you look closely at these works, you know, there's, they start to reveal themselves. Um, and, and definitely the complexities of our dreams. And so um, here I just saw um, uh, the shadow of a, of a silhouette of, of a being um, that 
seems to be wearing a mask. I think a lot of her figures are, are masked. Um, and, and this uh, being is resting, is sleeping most likely. And then this is the universe um, that, um, that it's thinking about. And so um, there's, a sense of, there's a sense of mystery and, and being carried into the universe of the artist and, uh, and the universe of our dreams. They're really like visions, they just, they just emerge. Um, which is really powerful, I think. Uh, she talks about keeping it fresh and, uh, and not, planning, not planning her day because everything and doesn't work out the same way. I think it's the same with life, you know. So you can always like tell the story of how the painting is made when you look at it closely. There's like the first layer, the veils, um, there's more depth, a bit like draping, and then you have the brushwork, then you have like the more expressive, you know, like those lines, and then she like removes certain things, and then she'll go on and, and do the prints, the impressions. Um, so I think they're really innovative and, and very generous, I guess, they tell a story almost like a reverse of, of everything that's going on. And, and you can just spend hours just looking at, I guess, one area, one detail, and appreciating it, appreciating it because of the painterly qualities. Um, and, then, and then there's like um, motifs that, are, that sustain your imagination because um, they're like bits of the story that are unfolding.